Dr. Alinsky, I presume, thank you for seeing me on an emergency basis and opening your office on a Sunday. Careless and Banana Breath highly recommend you. Commissioner Mulville, can I call you Suzanne? I think it is best that a doctor-slash-patient relationship of this type be on a first-name basis. Yes, both of them called me yesterday. They say that you had an outburst at a public meeting and they were concerned, something about your mother? I am glad they called you, they are such gems. I've never seen a therapist before. I'm also glad to see that you responded to their request that we meet in a room on the first floor. You see, I am petrified of heights. And yes, please call me Suzanne. Okay Suzanne, the only room we have available on the first floor is this conference room. You know, your trepidation about heights could be linked to your mother issues, how intriguing. This could take many sessions. Can you start with telling me some specifics of what happened yesterday and why the need for this emergency session? Well, I wasn't getting my way and she was being mean to me. She started it, she really did. Who is this she you refer to? Is she your actual mother? No, she is not my actual mother. I guess that's why people got concerned about my emotional state enough to contact you. My people are doing some background genealogical research to see if we share a common great, great, great grandmother, but that really is just a fallback story for the election. As she's actually the mayor of Lake Worth and we are not related, I just didn't get what I wanted so I just blurted out, yes, mother. What do you think about or how do you feel when someone says the word mother to you? What image do you get? Let's see. Um. Gosh, never really thought about it, but I sense an uncontrollable wild force. Mommy always was in control, I never got what I wanted, sis always got the best toys, the best dollies, the most treats. When I'm not getting my way and things are not under my extreme control, I get extremely uncomfortable. I become a blurter outer. Really? Fascinating. Doctor, when I think of mommy, Things come out of my mouth that I don't even understand which isn't that unusual since people tell me they don't understand many of the things I say anyway. I've heard about something called Tourette's Syndrome. Could I have that? That is nothing to wish for, Suzanne. Is this blurting out about your mother, is it a new thing? Or has it been going on for years? Do you occasionally bark like a dog? Bark? Like rough, rough, that kind of bark? Really only when asked to and when I'm on all fours. Well, that seems that it would be rather infrequent. I don't think what you have is Tourette's. What I think you have is idiopathic blurter's disease. We in the profession refer to it as IDB. There is no identifiable cause for IDB and, I am afraid, little hope for a cure. It can also lead to bladder and bowel control problems later in life but generally patients cope fairly well with the condition. It's the people that they come into contact with, they are the ones that suffer the most. Tragic it is. So doctor, you say that I have IDB. I already have an MBA, does that mean I can put IDB behind my name too? No Suzanne, that would be meaningless, silly and pretentious all at the same time. I would not recommend it. Can you tell me more about this mother blurting incident? Well. Long story, I'll try to make it short. I am a sitting city commissioner who is desperate to hold on to my office. It's another one of those darned election years. My people came up with this ploy to make building height in Lake Worth an issue, like we have to worry about that. Since I've been in office we've seen the largest drop in assessed property valuation of any city in Palm Beach County, that's why I was elected to the commission, to stop development, and it worked. There are two other commissioners and the mayor that want to turn this around. So we got a whole lot of people riled up about the dangers of six-story buildings. Thanks again for meeting with me on the first floor, Dr. Alinsky. You are welcome, Suzanne. Go on. I am hanging on every word of your story. Well, we had a special meeting to push the schedule and force this tight issue on the November election. It had been denied twice before by the same people. We had to get them to deny it three times. It sounds like something from the Bible, doesn't it? Banana Breath says the Bible sayings play well at the doors. Anyway, they did it again, those three. I got sad and upset and that's when I said, Yes, mother, after being called out for my rude behavior by the mayor. Hold on Suzanne, I am starting to see your eye teeth and your skin is getting red. Are you having a relapse? 
Do you need to sit down and put your head between your knees? I'll try to get a hold of myself. But doctor, now I am worried. Maybe I really am a mess. Doctor, am I getting worse? Don't worry Suzanne it's impossible for you to get any worse. You have been in bad shape for a long time apparently. Do you have any cupcakes doctor? My mother always baked cupcakes after I was bad and settled down after a time out. I don't make cupcakes. I am trying to improve your condition and you are not helping yourself. I think it is best that we schedule future sessions. I'll have to pick days when this first floor room is available, but we can work that out. I am willing to perform these therapies on a pro bono basis, but the sake of the public psyche. Oh, doctor, you are too kind. Banana Breath and Careless were right. Dr. Linsky, you were the best.